It's been a bit. My hair is long now. I have a guitar. My bed, my big bed's gone. And I have a record player with a couple records. And one of which is the new Gorillaz album, Cracker Island. I've been listening to Gorillaz for about a for about like a year now, I'd say. I um, started listening. The first album I heard from them was The Now Now, and it's a, it holds a special place in my heart for being one of the first songs I've heard by them. But this, one of the first albums I heard by them, this is their new record, Cracker Island, from I'd say three days ago. It says it released the 24th. I don't really know. It released the 24th of February, and it is February. Alexa, what's the date? Today is Sunday, February 26th. Did and you know, I can also answer other kinds of important questions like, can God eat sushi? Today is February 26th, so it released two days ago. I got it on pre-order from Amazon, and I got it today. Funny story, I was looking at a couple Reddit. Uh, the subreddit for gorillas and they kept everyone said they kept getting the wrong color record because there are a bunch of different colors that you can get there's the basic red for just buying it there's barnes and noble exclusive apple red amazon exclusive um uh a wine red which this is the one i should have gotten there's the deluxe box set hot pink there's a uh, translucent pink for um some other record store. There's um a bright pink for Spotify. Um upon others. I don't remember them all. Well I should have gotten the wine wine red one. I got the hot pink one from um the deluxe box set. I'm not complaining, it's a really good looking record, we can look at the art in the middle here. It's a really nice color. It may look red on this video, but it's just a really nice looking record. I'm happier with it, because I feel like it represents this era of gorillas more, because they were definitely going for a more, um, a more, like, hot pink vibe. Like, that's the color they've used the most. And I feel, I really like it. I feel like it's working out for them. So I'm probably happier I got this color. Inside the uh, casing, you'll find the record itself and this little insert thing that comes with a um, poster. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong side. Uh, it comes with these art, um, this kind of poster looking thing with Murdoch 2D uh, Noodle and Russell. And on the other side, it has a pretty big poster of. Murdoch, looking like Rasputin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Rasputin. Or Charles Manson. I don't know, they kind of look the same. So that's pretty cool. And... The sleeve. Oh, the sleeve that the record comes in is pretty nice. Again, has that hot pink color. Which you gotta love. And... Art. And then this is the back. It's hard to see, but there's Murdoch just kind of being sad, along with the track list. It might be backwards, but the track list is there. So, time for the review of the album. First off, starting with the lead single, Cracker Island. It's really good. It's probably my favorite off of this one. I would play it, but copyright and stuff. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to get striked. Because I kind of like making videos every once in a while. So, basically, it ha it's a very hip-hoppy sound. And I really like it. I think it works. It's featuring Thundercat, who is a relatively popular bassist. I know that. I don't really listen to him, but I know that. And it, it's very it's very traditional gorillas. It's funky, and it has a memorable but simple chorus. And the verses are simple, too. Um, definitely one of my favorite songs off this album, if not my favorite. I remember loving it when it first came out, and it's up there on one of my favorite Gorilla songs. Um, 
and it's definitely worth a listen. I recommend you go listen to the album, buy it if you want, support Gorillaz. Um, but it's a really good album, I do recommend it. There's Oil, featuring Stevie Nicks next. It's good, I like it. Not, it's not as strong as Cracker Island, but it, it is a very strong uh, track. It is not a single, this is a brand new song. Uh, it has, at some points, Stevie Nicks doesn't have their own solo in it, like a bunch of other creators do. Well, not a bunch, but they, at, at certain points, Damon, or 2D, whatever, whatever you want to say, uh, and them, they do a lot of duetting and stuff, which is very cool, and flows together nicely. I don't quite remember what it's like now, but I, it is a very good song. I recommend listening to it, although I don't have a whole lot to say on it. Next up is the Tired Influencer. This is a really good song. Um, it has a very simple beat and stuff like that. It is a single gorilla song. Like, so it's just gorillas. They're a very traditional sound. And it's very cool, funky. Um, it, one part I like about it is it uses the Siri voice a couple of times. At least that's what I, what I hear. It, it uh, gives the Siri voice every so often, saying certain things while Damon is singing, and I think that's pretty cool. And, um, next up, one song I've heard people talk about a lot, Tarantula. Uh, I just went back a couple of minutes ago and re-listened to some of the uh, brand new songs. The plane. I listened to some of the brand new songs, and Tarantula was one of the ones I liked the most. It is, again, a single song by Gorillaz, so it's not a single that they release, it's just Gorillaz. They don't have a um, a partner, or like a collaborator to help out with the song. It's, it has this really funky beat at the beginning, it kind of sounds like, imagine like, the choral had music around it, kind of sounds like that. <laughs> That's a dumb description, but it works. It's a very good song. Um, I have a hard time rem remembering songs off the top of my head, especially I've just listened to them today. So I haven't quite formed a complete opinion on them yet. So this video is, this is pretty much just first impressions. I might make a thorough review later, probably not, but I've been planning on doing more music reviews because I have a good bit of other records to go through. Um, so Tarantula, uh, pretty good. Next up, Silent Running. This was the final uh, single. I should have this like, just hold it. There, so now you see the record. It was the final record released for Cracker Island. It was released, I'd say, two weeks ago? I'm not sure. But it's it's pretty good. Definitely not my favorite. Oh, sorry. It is Silent Running featuring Adelai Omata, Omario. I can't read that. I probably didn't pronounce that right. But featuring them. And... You can't quite tell that they're there, but they do do a cool, they do a cool, um, little vocal stuff near the end of the song. It's very good. It's one of their more, uh, a lot of these songs I find are very traditional to Gorillaz, and they feature Damon singing a lot. Usually, a lot of the times, a lot of songs are just not Damon at all. One example of this being Humans, released in 20, 2015, I'm pretty sure. It, um, there wasn't enough vocals from Damon. It was just a bunch of other creators. And it was their big comeback album after 20, uh, after, I think it was released 2016, Humans was. It was their big comeback after Plastic Beach, which was released in 2010, which was a very much more traditional Gorillaz album. And Humans being their big comeback had a lot of creators and just a ton of collaborations. Uh, so much that people complained that there wasn't enough Damon, or not enough 2D. So after they released the single Sleeping Powder, which I I really like that song, but people also complained that it was really weird, which it was, but I like it. Uh, this song was the final uh, single release for the album, and it was pretty good, I gotta say. Um, it does get a little, not my favorite, of course. It was the second uh, single to really receive a music video, and probably the only one, or the only two. Uh, Cracker Island being the other one to receive a music video. That's pretty good. 
It's really weird. You'd have to watch it for yourself, but it's a really weird music video. It's good, though. Um, I'd rate the side of the running closing off the B side. It's a very good. It is very good. If I were to rate the songs to Cracker Island, it would probably be an 8.5 out of 10. Oil would probably be an, a 7 out of 10. The Tired Ones will insert a 7.5. Short Ranch will an 8. And Silent Running an 8.5. And actually, Cracker Island would be a 9. And so silent, silent Running being 8.5. So starting off the B side is the second solo released New Goal. It's also really good. It's um, It has Tame and Paula and Booty Brown. Booty Brown also being featured on Demon Days in the, in the single um, Dirty Carry. Uh, he came back for uh, another song and I think he does pretty good. And uh, Tame and Paula comes, is a newcomer to New Goals, I'm pretty sure. And I know he has a pretty famous career by himself. And it's really good. Um, there's, at the beginning part, it starts off with, I think, Tim and Paula singing. And that's my fa I like that part of the song. And then there's a rap section by Booty Brown, which is pretty cool. Next up, the third single released, Baby Queen. Very good. Um, not my favorite, of course. I remember listening to, listening to it with my mother in the car to a place, and it was pretty cool, pretty cool, um, a, a lot of people think it's about Noodle, the guitarist, because when she started, um, when she started the, in the band, Laura Wise, um, she was like 13, but now she's like 20-something, see her right there in the Helper Skelter shirt, um, I gotta make a whole different video on lore and stuff. But right now I'm just reviewing Cracker Island. It's a very good song. Uh, Tormenta featuring Bad Bunny. It's okay, I guess. There are good parts. It's catchy. But it's all in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I'm an American child. I speak English. Which is probably not a good thing. I probably should listen or learn another language. But it's all in Spanish. Which doesn't make it a bad song, it just kind of diminishes a bit because I can't understand it. And this is coming from somebody who used to listen to a lot of J-pop. But it's just, it's a good song, just I don't understand it. Which is on me, that doesn't make it a bad song. Um, next up is Skinny Ape. This was the final? Wait, no, no. It was the second to last. It was the fourth single released for the album. Probably my second favorite single to come out of the album. It's really good. It's really good. Um, the beginning part, it's just hypnotic, really. Um, near the end, uh, when the chorus hits, it has like this cool like EDM kind of part. It's, it's a real, it's a bop. You'll be, you'll be sitting there, it's like, but definitely worth a listen. This whole album you gotta listen to. I've said I've said that before, but you just gotta listen to it all. It's really good. Um, and finally, Possession I Possession Island featuring Beck. I know Beck is a very popular creator from the earlier, or yeah, earlier '90s and through now really. Man, this I almost cried during this song. Man, it was really good. It was really good. Um, it was really beautiful and stuff like that it, it was just it was hard to explain man i really liked it it was a very good send-off for the album it was an amazing closing song one thing i find a lot of records doing is having a very like hype opening song and then the last song being really like chill and mellow which i i like a lot and this song and this is no exception to me liking it, it's still a very good song. So overall, side A, side B, New Gold, 8.5 out of 10. Baby Queen would be a 7. Uh, Tormenta would be a 5. Skinny Ape would be a 9. And Possession Island would be an 8.5. That's my overall review of the Cracker Island Gorillas album. 
this is their seventh studio album, I am pretty sure. Yes, this is their seventh record. And I gotta say, it's really good. Fun. I'm gonna do get again another view of the front cover and the back cover. My box there. It's really good. I like it. So overall, I'd give this album an 8.5 out of 10. It has bangers on it, but I feel like a couple of the songs are like a little forgettable. So my big return is a, a music review for the New Girls album. So, I hope you liked it. Tell me if I should do more, because I'm definitely planning on it, because I got a record yesterday, and it's, it's a good one. So, I'll see you later. Goodbye.